High formation on third and one, but Mertz wants to throw it. He's going for the end zone, caught, touchdown! Mason Stocky, the fullback, and Wisconsin gets the turnover, and they convert it into a... Mason Stocky right here at fullback. Somebody on the defense for Illinois has him in coverage. You can see a bunch of people looking in the backfield. Stocky in the end zone. Graham Mertz, his first touchdown pass of 2020. Thought it was him again. You mentioned the seven force fumbles he had last year to lead the nation. Not that time though, just a shoot. Third and three. Over the middle and caught. Danny Davis, his first catch. So watch this throw right over the linebacker. It's a deep dig route, deep in, and he gets a rundowns and sets him back. So they empty the backfield. And Birch patiently finds Groshek. Groshek stretching out. He's close. 14th play on this drive. Play fake, wide open. There you go. Touchdown. It is Jake Ferguson. Right here is Ferguson. And you see him he's acting like he's blocking down. And he fools. The fighting Illini defense as Derek Smith eyes in the backfield. And it backs him up to second and 13, so they go screen. And getting it out to Jack Dunn. He gets some of that yardage back. Being very careful with the football, making smart choices. Has two touchdown passes on those 11 completions. Trying to make it 12 for 12. He drops that right in the breadbasket of Jake Ferguson. What a beauty. He drops that in there. It's an out and up by Ferguson. Really not terrible coverage by Ware, but a perfectly placed ball. And Mertz is out there as the day one starter. And he's going for the end zone again, and it's caught again by Jake Ferguson. What a response by Jake Ferguson. You fumble the football, leads to a touchdown. How about two big receptions on this drive? And Mertz with an absolutely perfect throw. And Jack Cohn on the sideline says yes. All kinds of time. He's going deep. And it's caught at the 10 and into the end zone. Danny Davis. Four touchdown passes in your debut in the first half. Again, the middle of the defense, deep for Illinois, an issue. A chilly 32-degree night in Madison. Third and seven, Mertz looking for Kendrick Pryor, and he's got him. First down. All the way down, every single play. Run, 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 run. And this time they'll pass it, and look who is wide open. Jake Ferguson, October 19th in Champaign, October 23rd, 2020, belongs to Graham Mertz, Jake Ferguson, and the Wisconsin Badgers. And there is Jalen Berger in the ballgame now, the true freshman from Newark you talked about. He goes out of the motion, they flip it in the flat, and there is the young guy able to stretch for the marker. Jumbo package for the Badgers from the one on first down. Watson, they fake it to him, they just slide it out. Mason Stocky, that was easy. Watch the play fake. Eyes of the linebackers and safeties think that Watson has the ball and Stocky's out there waiting all by himself for the touchdown, up 14. Wolverines in a hole at home. Watson, they fake it to him. Merce takes a look downfield and finds his man. And it's DK again who has been active tonight. Good job by this offensive line. Really max protect here. He got everybody in, just a couple receivers downfield, but they are able to get separation. This play takes a long time, and eventually right there, working all the way across the field, gets away from Green. They lose the center last year, Tyler Beattis, is playing with the Cowboys, and they just continue to rebuild on that side of the ball, and that time on a first down throw. Kendrick Pryor works free. And it's a first down across the 30. Once they get out of that hole, they're able to work to the back side. And I love that he didn't wait. Pryor, Pryor gets separation. And instead of waiting, Merckx pulls the trigger right away. And, and, and by doing that, it gives him a chance to not only make that completion. Sets up a third and four. 
Mertz from the pocket, delivers, and the catch is made. First down to Jake Ferguson. It's a quiet night so far. Joe Rudolph, the offensive play caller, former lineman with the Badgers. Five total coaches are along from this, this town. Mertz for the end zone. Touchdown. They find Jake Ferguson, his fourth of the year. Jim right at the beginning. Barrett hits him. He almost goes down, keeps his feet. Location of the ball up in the air where he can climb at 6-5 and make the play. High points the ball. But I just love that he loses his balance, gathers himself, and then that gives you an idea. He's basically a wide receiver with tight end size. And Merckx makes a great throw where the big guy can go up and make a play on the ball. Merckx on second and nine, high throw. Danny Davis, Davis goes up and I will not drop that time. I will not. I'll make this crazy catch, and I'm not dropping this football again. Between the semifinals and the championship game, all done virtually, of course, in 2020. Mertz on play action, puts it in the flat, and there's old Jake Ferguson running free again at the touchdown catch. Delivers a stiff arm. Dax Hill shoved him into the bench. We need to find people who can make plays. Berger, a leading candidate. Graham Mertz on target, and there is a first down for the Badgers to the 35-yard line. It's frustrating. It's early in the game, very early, but that feels like a very big play. Nice throw on the roll by Graham Mertz on target to Jack Dunn. Have anybody returning who had had a 100-yard career rushing game? Mertz, good fake, has a man free, and it is caught, and it is a touchdown for Chimere DK. Mertz's pass is complete. First down. And he's just going to beat the corner. Cameron Ruiz, he beats him to the inside. There's no safety help. Again, this defensive was of Northwestern. Joe Rudolph, the offensive coordinator. Swing pass, Groshek. Out of way. You got a first down and out of bounds. You know, Ohio State is still the team that everybody is kind of chasing in this league. And, uh, they played him in the Big Ten Championship before. And this, uh, that would be a challenge for them offensively. Second down and 11. Mertz, the redshirt freshman from the Kansas City area. As he gets it to one of the seniors, Garrett Groshek. To force some uncomfortable third downs for Graham Mertz and this Badger offense. Third and six. Mertz. He's going to have a first down as he goes to Jake Ferguson. It just grew up worshiping this program and now being able to put on those colors every week. Low snap, and then he goes back to Ferguson, who's able to dodge a defender and get ahead out to the 43-yard. After their performance last week, but a nice win on the road today at Auburn. First down. Once again, he goes to Ferguson. You see, what a target, what a weapon. Ferguson. Graham Mertz. Good start to this drive as KP Kendrick Pryor with a chunk play. Mertz on second and nine. And he's able to find KP and Kendrick Pryor. Third down and four. Mertz trying to keep this drive going, and he does so. And once again, it's Kim Ray DK. They were trying to figure out who was going to cover DK across the field. They were a little confused. The free safety ends up getting over the top. Matthews, freshman center, freshman quarterback, trying to operate a big comeback here in a potential two-minute situation. Safety blitz. He quickly gets it out, and in doing so, will get a good play to Eschenbach. He's in for Cormac Sampson as the starting center today. Second and seven. Oh, play fake and a beautiful move out to the tight end, Ferguson. Spencer, we suspect that Ferguson... Brady Schiffer, number 29, is coming to the game for the first time. There's a little quick out to the tight end, Jake Ferguson. And he takes it in, shy of the 50 at the 48. Culture. Complimentary football. Yep. Out pattern to Jack Dunn for a first down. In the middle of that four-man front. They try to get in a more favorable down and distance situation and then go for that again. Nice. nice. He's got a great arm, yeah. a super future. That pass is caught by Fergus Siding if Wisconsin can do something with it here. Second nice. and seven. Nice. That pass is caught inside the five and down to the one. Very 
close as Jack Dunn. Provided a shield. Yeah. Big tight end in front of him. Did a fantastic job of getting out of the way and letting I Dunn you, carry it. Ferguson should be applauded for ducking. Yeah. He understood <laughs> it. You know, again, these guys are separated here. You got Y working, trying to get on that scene, but he stumbled. Rorschach in the backfield. Nice. Slant. Slant. To DK, and Jim Ray DK has a, a healthy pickup. Mertz on the out route again to Dunn. His specialty today. They're down 11. Mertz looking. That's a nice pass. That's a beautiful pass and catch. Devin Chandler with his first reception. Him again with a nice cushion. That pad gave him enough distance to push it. And then, of course, Riley Moss turned to the inside. And now Brady Shipper is in the game at running back. And he'll go out to the right side as Mertz rolls and throws. And Jack Dunn catches Graham Mertz's first pass of the day. Ball, Matt, oh, because yeah. Clay Carey enter, uh, upended him in midair. Standing back and throwing. It is Mertz with a low pass. And going to ground to catch it is Chimray DK. Yeah, I was watching him go down and dig this thing out. He gets his hands underneath, holds on to it all the way. It's a good catch all the way through. They don't like that in Waukesha, Wisconsin, where DK is from. Yeah, there it is. He has his hands under, and yeah, it's a catch. He has control of it. Wisconsin one of seven today on third downs. This is a third and seven. Thomas Rush with a rush, but a throw and downfield and caught. First deep ball connection today. This one goes to Jack Dunn. Then it's a well-thrown ball right on top where it needed to be. He had adequate protection back there. And then Dunn just goes up and gets it and makes sure he's got both feet down and controlling that football. That's a huge play right there for Graham Mertz. Of 16 Wisconsin players to receive their degrees last weekend on commencement day. Here's a throw down the field, and it's Jake Ferguson to the 10 yard line, setting up Wisconsin with first and goal to go. The guy that you you like down here is that tight end in that seam, right over the top of Sorry Marin's hands. Well done by Ferguson, gets to the top right there. And in a workable situation, third and goal, four yard line. His two runs earlier were to the right. This time he sprints out left and finds Dunn at the goal line for a touchdown. The first lead today for Wisconsin. He's about to get hit here by Gordon, I believe. The ball comes out and it's right where it had to be. That's really well done by Dunn. Well, Dunn had his fingerprints all over that drive, Matt. Yes, he did. He uh, he punctuated it there with that touchdown. It's got a report. Negates a 40-yard play. Instead, it's first and 15 Wisconsin at their own 20, and they'll just use the conservative route to pick up a chunk of yardage to another former walk-on. In penetration by the Wake Forest defensive front, the running backs can't get going. Second and 12. Mertz steps up, throws on the run. It's a strike to DK, and it's a first down inside the 30 yard line. Mertz just climbing up into the pocket and hitting that crossing pattern from DK. Second and 12 at the 30 yard line, the last play of the first quarter, and it's a good ball inside the 15. First down, staying on his feet is done, which has Graham Mertz at the 11 yard line. Little toss ahead to Groshek, breaking tackles down to the five, second down. Without Kamara in there. Play action, sets the bubble up. Ferguson with his first catch of the day, and it's a big one inside the 20, down near the 10 yard line, has now caught a pass. Took a while, fourth target, and it was on a screen pass, really well executed. Missed opportunity in the open field. Local guy with two big plays in the game. Now play action from the 14 to the fullback. Out of the backfield. Touchdown, Mason Stocky. So watch him bait up when they run it. Off the play action. And they're all thinking run play right here. And watch the bite. You know, Jasir Taylor is coming on a pressure. It was Jaquez Williams. He takes two or three steps up towards the line of scrimmage. You see number eight trying to retrace? Uh-oh.